What's going on guys welcome back it's part three now before we go any further i want to talk about libraries events and projects because it can be confusing iMovie and final cut 10 are kind of confusing in the way that you can't really save in a traditional sense everything's just saved to your hard drive so let's talk about it so what we have right here look at your library your library is pretty much your root folder so think of it as like you had three different clients right say you were a professional videographer and you had you got work with, I don't know, Rolling Stone or Canon or Maxim or Transworld Surf. That's what I would name each library. Each, each library is pretty much the root folder. Uh, what I like to do is have my libraries accessible in the finder. So this is called Untitled right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to Canon. Change it to anything you want. There's no right or wrong. I'll change that to Canon. And let's look at our doc. Let's go to our finder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on Documents. I'm going to click on Show and Closing Folder. And I'm going to go ahead and grab movies and I'm going to pull them right there underneath my favorites right here in my iMac finder. Click on movies. Here's our new root folder, Canon, just like there. What do we have in here? What is that? I don't know what showed up. Nothing that should have been there. So here we go. In our root folder, we have an event and we have smart collections. Now, smart collections is a better way to help further categorize your media. See... Final Cut 10 assumes that, I don't know if it assumes, but say you have a hundred video clips you have to pull in here. Well, this would be a good way to just categorize them. And we'll talk about this in a different video. This comes up every time you create a new library, Smart Collections is going to show up. And it's really just a shortcut. So if we had, you know, we only wanted three good clips out of the hundred we shot, we would add them to favorites. We'd click on that and then just the three would show up. And down here is our event. Now our events are pretty much just the media. Events are all your media. All of our video files, all of our logos, all of our music, all of our audio. So our library contains both our events right here as well as our projects. Now our projects are what we do with these events. So what we're gonna do, like I said, events is just all of your media. So we're gonna go ahead and pull in, click on that, whether you wanna pull something in from, I don't know, an SD card or you had something saved to your desktop. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull in two clips. I just bought a new camera. I, I bought a Canon. So I've got two clips right here. Well, this is my events right here. I have two videos in my events, but what I want to do is I want to create a new project. Click new project and we'll call this front. We'll do a front and back. I'll explain that in a second. And this is the event. It just goes by the date. You can change that as well too. Just go ahead and click on, um, single click it or maybe hit enter we'll call this uh, front and back and back right so here is our events we've got two clips right here now our project has nothing because we haven't done anything to the timeline so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take this clip and i'm going to put it first just like that and i'm going to take this clip i'm going to take the whole clip come on baby something like that and I'm going to put it behind it just like that. Now let's play it. We've got our first clip. I've got my hands touching it. There's my new camera. And this was clip B. I had to readjust the lighting on it a little bit. Okay, so this is our media and this is our project. Now say that we wanted to export this project. Well, what we'd want to do, and don't export it right now just for the sake of the tutorial. What we would want to do is this exact project, the way it is right now, we'd go ahead and come over here and click on share. I would export file and then I would save it to my desktop and upload it to YouTube. But what if we wanted to play around with more clips? Say we wanted to do front and back and I'll go ahead and add a couple more clips. And this is a video game called Bioshock. So I still have this project. It's saved to the hard drive. But what I want to do now is I want to create a new project. We'll call this backside. Right here. So here's project, pretty much project one. Here's project two. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and use this clip and we'll just do the first clip again. Third clip again. And fourth clip. Uh, I'm sorry. Third clip. This is my one of my favorite video games, Bioshock. And that's kind of it. So library is pretty much your root folder. Uh, events right here. This is pretty much all of your media 
you know, on big scales, I'm going to be pulling in, you know, sometimes when I make YouTube videos, I pull in 50 videos for one three minute video. It's kind of a nightmare. So we'll pull all these in right here and then projects are what we do with these. So it's just like, you don't have to do the exams, exact same project every time or pull in the exact same media every time to do a new project. The media is already there. Think of media, think of event, think of project, think of new video with the same media. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully whatever I say in life makes sense. I feel like it never makes sense, but that's it. Library is the big one. If you want to create a new library, just go up here to click new library and say, we'll call it Rolling Stone and we'll save it into movies and it'll show up right here. Just like that. I want to minimize my Canon library. So now I've got my Rolling Stone and you could have multiple events. Say you had, you know, you were, you filmed Izzy is Exela, uh, Bruno Mars, and I don't know, Vanilla Ice. What I would do is I would just click new event and I would call this Vanilla. I would call this, I'll just go back to the default one that it creates. I'll call it Bruno and I will call it see we're still all under rolling i'll call this i don't know lady gaga and all the footage all the audio i had for these people i would put all the vanilla ice stuff under vanilla all the lady gaga stuff i would upload here and all the bruno stuff i would upload here keep in mind it's still all under rolling and we'll just get canon out of here to confuse things it's not deleting it's just closing the library so that is it. The 10 second elevator speech library is the root folder. Your event is all of your media. Your project is what you do with it. You could have a hundred projects with the same media. You could have five pieces of media, chop it up a hundred different ways. And that's a hundred different projects. Good luck with this. Hopefully it made sense. I'll see you guys in the next video where we rock and roll.